Hi, this is Mr. West, and today we're doing a tutorial video on order of operations. This, of course, is from mathdrills.com. Make sure to check out Math Drills in the description below. For this exercise, we are simplifying these expressions, and it's going to be a three-step process. So we're going to need to know and use order of operations for this. Now, one of the things I tell my students is we are going from something a little bit more complex to something more simple. So I like to kind of pre-draw these funnels in here because we are going to line by line get this more and more simple. That's probably one of the biggest things my students struggle with is they struggle with kind of keeping this organized. They want to show like 9 minus 4 equals 5 and then they kind of have this times 5 over here and they get lost really easily. But if you have this step-by-step -step process where you go line by line, it makes it a lot more simple to kind of keep things organized and not get screwed up. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and show you what we're going to do here. Now, one of the things I highly recommend is writing P-E-M-D-A-S somewhere on your paper. And also, I like to do this. I like to draw a line underneath those and those, okay? And the reason why is because essentially, we're gonna be treating these as equals, the M and the D, that's multiplication and division, and the addition and subtraction. We're gonna be treating them as equals. We're just gonna do whatever appears first, left to right. A lot of people think, oh, multiplication always comes first. That is not necessarily true. So make sure to keep that in mind as you're doing this. Now. With this one, we see that there's parentheses, so there's no debate there. We're gonna do the parentheses first, and we're just gonna do nine minus four, and that's gonna be equal to five. Now, you can keep this in parentheses, or you cannot. Uh, one thing I'm gonna show is I'm gonna change this to that dot. Okay, that's just a little bit more simple. It's another way to express multiplication in case you're running. So this uh, symbol and that symbol are the same. Now, whoops. One thing you'll notice is I rewrite everything else. That's something that younger students are not very good at. You need to rewrite everything else to keep it organized so you don't lose track of stuff. So now my new expression, that's a little bit more simple, is 10 plus five times, instead of nine minus four, I have five. It's more simple, and we're gonna continue this process whoops, until it is completely simplified. Now, my next one, I'm ignoring the previous line, so now I just have 10 plus five times five. Well, I'm done with parentheses, I have no exponents, and now I'm moving on to multiplication division. I don't have division, but I have multiplication. So next I'm going to do this step. I'm gonna do this five times a five. The first step I did nine minus four, I got five. Now I'm gonna do five times five, and I get 25. But I still have that plus 10 there, and I'm gonna rewrite it. Okay, this is my organization system, and your math teachers are gonna thank you someday if you do the same. So my final step, I have 10 plus 25, and that gives me 35, and now it's all the way simplified, and that's how it works. It's as simple as that. So let's go ahead and move on to number two. Number two right here. We can see that we have parentheses, we do not have exponents, and we have division, so let's go ahead and start with the parentheses. Now in the parentheses, we restart order of operations. Are there any more parentheses? You can have parentheses within parentheses. No, we don't. Do we have exponents? No. Multiplication? No. We do have addition and subtraction. Don't fall into the trap of needing to do addition before subtraction. You're going to get some wrong answers that way. So we need to do just left to right inside this parentheses because we have addition and subtraction, okay? So left to right, I'm gonna do nine minus six. That gives me three. Now, one thing you can do, you can do it one step at a time if you want. And I highly encourage this for kind of younger learners is to really start off slow and do it line by line and only one step at a time. But if you're someone that can do all that in your head, that's fine, okay? But I'm just gonna write nine minus six, that's three plus five. I only did this step, and I'm changing colors too much here. Nine minus six, I only did that step right there, and I'm gonna rewrite everything else. Okay, next up, I have three plus five. That gives me eight. So the next step I did is I just added those together. I can keep this in parentheses, it doesn't really matter. Okay, but essentially I could erase them because there's nothing left inside the parentheses that can be simplified. So I have eight divided by two. That's my new expression. Again, I can er erase this if that's a little uh, more clear for you. So we have eight divided by uh, two, and that is going to give me four, and that is going to be my final answer, four. So basically a three-step process again, and I got four this time. 
If you weren't gonna do that, you'd get some sort of negative number. You would get negative one. So make sure that you've taken it line by line, step by step, and that should steer you in the right direction. Okay, so we have next one up. Again, I like to put these in here. So I have 11 minus six is my first one divided by five, okay? I just did 11 plus three. Next, I'm gonna do 11 minus five, that gives me five. I don't need the parentheses anymore, but I am gonna rewrite the divided by five, and five divided by five gives me one as my final answer. Next up, 10 times seven plus three minus four. There's no parentheses this time, but I have multiplication, so I get 70 plus three minus four. Notice I didn't put my little guiding lines this time. So this is what it will look like if you don't do that, okay? Uh, but if you're still working on it, go ahead and keep writing. So 70 plus three is 73 minus four, and I get 69 as my final answer. Make sure to circle your answer too. All right, here we have parentheses. We have nine times 10 divided by two. What do I do first? Do I do division? Do I do multiplication? I'm just gonna go left to right. In this case, it's gonna be multiplication first. I do nine divided by two, and that gives me, final answer, 45. You can kind of see the natural funnel effect as you do this. It goes from complex to less complex. 16 plus five minus six, that gives me 21 minus six, and that gives me 15 as my final answer. So some of these are going a lot uh, quicker now that we have it down. Let me just go ahead and do two more. I don't wanna do all these for you. So we have 40 minus four plus seven. I did multiplication first. Then I'm do subtraction, get 36 plus seven, and that gives me 43 as my final answer. Let's do one more, last one here. 24 divided by, whoops, I didn't do it as I was supposed to do it. I was supposed to do parentheses first, I got caught up. So we have 12, then I have six divided by, and then I have the times, I'm gonna change that to a dot, four. Okay, now I can essentially erase these parentheses because I already did the, the, the addition. So now I have 24 divided by 12, and that gives me two as my final answer. Make sure you don't skip steps, okay? Very important. And you can see we got that natural funneling happening, but if you wanna write in those lines to remind you of how to do it, that's fine. One thing I also recommend, let's say you're having trouble doing the addition and subtraction, I recommend doing it off to the side, and then maybe doing the the just the result on the inside. So. Here I wrote 11 plus three is 11. Okay, now I'm gonna write the 11 from here over here, and then the 11 minus six, if I didn't know how to do that, I could write it over here. I like having a workspace off to the side. That's essentially what I was trying to say, okay? So workspace off to the side, keep everything organized right here so you can simplify your expression, and that's it. If you need me to do two more of those, go ahead and let me know in the comment section, and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.